very good morning to you all today we are going to see inferential control and introduction to mimo processes first let us see about uh, inferential control then uh, let us move on to introduction to mimo process inferential control inferential control means uh, the name itself says the what is the purpose of uh, this type of controller sometimes uh, it is not possible to measure the process variable process variable means the variable to be controlled this is the process this is the uh, this is the process uh, um, in which uh, this is the controlled output that is process variable this is the process variable the pro but the problem with this uh, process is uh, uh, the the controlled output that is process variable is uh, um, <clears throat> unmeasurable we cannot measure this uh, um, this process variable that is the problem uh, with this um, example for that uh, um, the reflex ratio control yesterday we have seen that in that uh, the purpose of reflex ratio is uh to improve the quality of top product quality of top product but uh, it's not possible to have a online data to sense the um quality of uh, a top product it's not possible we have to do it offline that is we have to take the sample and we have to uh, measure in the lab then only we will get that uh, um, uh, the purity of top product so if you want to maintain the quality uh, then we have to go for inferential control uh, that's why we are uh, indirectly controlling the temperature uh, um, uh, in that uh, uh, <coughs> reflex ratio control like that here <coughs> like that here uh, the in this process it's not possible to measure this uh, um process variable then uh, but we can measure another uh, um, variable that is called a secondary measurement and that has uh, a, a good relationship with this uh, process variable that can be measured in that case we have to measure that variable and we have to control this that is called inferential control in this process uh, this is the manipulated variable entering into the process so you have to consider this boundary we do not know what is inside mm? for um, to understand that these blocks are there let us assume that uh, m uh, is entering d is entering the output is the output is uh, one is measurable output uh, another one is uh, uh, that to be controlled uh, variable to be controlled that is the process variable um, let us assume that uh, this is y the process variable is y Uh, y and uh, this is uh, z so we want to control y by using z that is the idea for that uh, the manipulated variable m has to be used to control this uh, y by measuring z uh, unmeasured disturbance also this is also unmeasured disturbance uh, uh, that is also entering into the process so if you know the mathematical input output model of the process then we can give m as the input to that you will get to y as output suppose disturbance also entering in the process you must uh, know the mathematical model of disturbance uh, if you give that mathematical input to this it will give uh, output for that uh, disturbance if you add these two together that gives the output another one is uh, that is uh, one more uh, a variable z that has very good relationship uh, that has very good relation <coughs> between z and y that can be measured its mathematical model input output model is gp2 its disturbance model is gd2 if you do the disturbance to this uh, and uh, measured uh, sorry manipulate variable to this uh, you will get z <coughs> Yeah, we are going to measure z and control y. That is idea. For that, let us write the expression for this given um, process. What is y? Y is uh, gp one times gp one times uh, 
manipulated variable and uh, gd1 times uh, 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 multiply gp1 and m and the gd1 d and if you add together you will get y that is one relation mathematically we know but y cannot be measured but uh, what is z <coughs> z is um, um, manipulated variable multiplied by gp2 input output model for z the disturbance model for um, uh, z is uh, gd2 gd2 multiplied by d if you add these two together you will get z so we have two relations from from the from the second relation find the expression for d find the expression for d what is uh, d uh, you have to bring uh, divide on both sides by gd2 um, then uh, you will uh, separate the d d equal to 1 by gd2 z uh, minus gp2 by d upon gd2 uh, m dash m so you got the relation substitute this relation here because d is unknown here d is unknown here therefore if you substitute this uh, disturbance in the d then uh, you will get uh, in, uh, uh, this is actually a measure, indirect measure of disturbance indirect measure of the disturbance you can measure the disturbance uh, from the input and uh, response if you combine response and the input you, you can measure the disturbance indirect way of measuring disturbance that is substituted here then you will get y so y is uh, um, uh, manipulated variable multiplied by something plus uh, uh, measurable variable multiplied by something that gives y that is uh, indirectly we are estimating it is not measuring we are estimating y from these two expressions that's all then we can implement uh, the inferential control that is here so the process uh, now everything comes in this uh, block this is the process uh, disturbance is entering here uh, manipulated variable is given here so it's as output y that cannot be measured that's why there is no uh, sensor uh, here but uh, uh, z also another output maybe in the uh, distillation column this is uh, purity and uh, this is uh, temperature let us assume so the temperature is taken and uh, in the previous uh, slide we have seen the relation for y is, is z must be multiplied by gd1 by gd2 uh, so uh, we got uh, one uh, variable uh, another uh, uh, is uh, m should be multiplied by m should be multiplied by gp1 uh, minus gd1 by gd2 into gp so if you multiply m by this uh, and add these two together you will get uh, y here you are estimating this y uh, estimating y that y is used to control this process this is called inferential control inferential control here uh, controller uh, gc yeah, this is y this is set point y and uh, yeah, you are getting error here the controller gives manipulated variable that goes both to the process as well as to this model to estimate that's all <coughs> now 